Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's me, rsquad911, back again with another Hasbro HasLab Proton Pack update. It's been a while since my last video, but it is worth the wait. I've gotten so many parts uh, during that time and I've installed it. I still have a few parts that are coming in, but uh, those few parts won't really make a difference in this video. I'll probably do an update video anyways, but uh, parts wise, this pack is done. Aesthetically, still got to weather it a little bit and remove some of the factory weathering because it's, you know, it's good from far, but when you get up close, it is far from good. Um, so let's get into it. We'll do a quick little scan here. This is my ghost trap that I've added some new modifications to, which I'll get to after. But we're going to start from the bottom, scan all the way up, and you guys can see a lot of stuff has changed. Right? So, I guess we'll start at how I turn this pack on. And that's done through here. We'll shut it down. Yes, whole bunch of switches and buttons. Looks really cool. Um, so basically what I have inside the pack is a talent cell. I got a 6,000 MA uh, milliamp hour uh, talent cell. A lot of people are using the 3000 MAH because it just fits perfectly in there. But I wanted something with more uh, capacity. So I had to take apart the case and put just the batteries inside. So it was quite a bit of work. Uh, but uh, I think it was worth it. So what do we have here? This is the on button to turn on the talent cell. This is my barrel connector here. Uh, to charge the talent cell and this one here is actually a kill switch from the talent cell to the board and you guys are probably asking why do I have that well that's simple um, a lot of people have tested and I've tested myself that when even though this switch is off on the talent cell or even the physical switch on the talent cell is off which I've replaced with that um, and you put in your 12 volt charge into here, power is still channeling into the board. So when I actually have it plugged in to charge and everything is off, not this, but the switch from the talent cell, I can still turn on the pack, which shows that power is going through the talent cell. And even though everything is off, you can see up to, I think, four volts. And that's, and that's fine because the board runs on five. But if there's ever a surge or any kind of failure in the talent cell, uh, you're gonna fry your board. So I basically put this kill switch here to shut it down while I charge, All right? So I'll show you here, I can turn that on and nothing is working because it's killed. Now switch that on and it starts to work. So even if I had that on, I can turn it off here. It turns off or I kill it from the switch here. But now see that this power is on, it is dead. It is not turning on. This kill switch has to be on for it to turn on, All right? Okay, so let's shut that off for now. And then this next switch here I have for my, uh, if you guys seen on my Etsy store, my Cyclotron cake LED and panel LED light mon, this turns it on and off. So when the cover is on, I just switch them off, just, you know, maybe it saves a little bit of battery, especially when you're in a convention, right? So having all those extra LEDs, uh, maybe you'll get, I don't know, five minutes more of battery life, who knows? And um, the switch beside here is my Fruto Technologies uh, Forever On mod. So when I have that flipped on, um, you can see there, pack turns on. And uh, what it does is it mimics uh, wand function so it keeps the pack running so if you're at a convention you don't have to worry about it shutting off you can have all your flashy lights going on and everybody will ooh and ah over your pack uh, the wand will shut off but the pack will stay on which is fine because you can just pull the wand off the pack or off your belt and uh, turn it back on right but most of the time I don't think you're gonna be holding on to your wand while walking around so uh, the pack will be what uh, everybody's really looking at so I'm going to turn everything on and right now we are in uh, Ghostbusters 84 mode right there and then so continuing on we have Mac Factory 
uh, metal labels. And I have a bunch of uh, real resistors here. Got rid of all the plastic stuff and it looks way, way better. Got an actual resistor here, resistor there. Uh, got an actual metal ion arm, uh, Ghostbusters 1 sort of uh, version of it. Now Ghostbusters 2, they moved that over to there, which I cut off and I just thought it looked cool like this. All right, real metal ion arm. I will put in the description below uh, where I got everything. Uh, you can get these all from ghostbustersfans.com, uh, but with the shipping wait times, uh, I think when I ordered all these parts, originally on Ghostbusters Fan before I canceled it, uh, it, everything showed in stock, so you expect it to ship right away or within a week, but then I get a notification that everything will be ready to ship in a month. And uh, that is just ridiculous. Uh, and I'm, you know, me being someone who's excited about my Proton Pack, I don't want to wait that long to get stuff and install it, right? So I was able to source everything individually from individual sellers on Etsy and on um, actual sellers' websites, and I got everything within five days. Everything. Uh, and cheaper, mind you. So, uh, of course, Ghostbusters fans has to uh, make some money. But uh, if you do not want to wait and you want to get everything right away, check out the links below. All right. So going back here, we have an actual metal label here. I still have the plastic protection on it because I kind of like how it gives it that dull look. Um, and we've changed these to uh, the actual hose hose fittings and brass clippered fittings here with an actual blue hose there, actual blue uh, red hose there with uh, the, the loom protector going down. Uh, scanning around here, I don't know if you can see here, but I have the metal uh, label here as well. And uh, from my previous video, you can see that I did uh, actual wire. I cut out like the fake rubber molded wires there and I put in my own real uh, wires there. And that's a matter of just cutting it out, drilling a hole here and drilling a hole up here and then fishing some wires through and then weathering it a little bit. All right, so on the side here, more Mac factory labels and here I just kind of took some copper wire from some copper wires that I had and I just made some uh, bent it and I just glued it on there, bought an actual chip off Amazon, screwed that on there, uh, and just painted these pieces in gold and sanded off the fake uh, molded rivets and put actual hex cap heads on there. And I think that looks really cool uh, and it gives it a much cooler effect. All right, so going on here, we've added some brass fittings there for these hoses, uh, brass fitting there, and an actual clippered valve there. Really, really cool. You can buy these directly from Clippard. Um, they're not that expensive, I think 50, 50 bucks. I got one on the wand here too, that's a 701. I think this is a 331, 313, 331. I don't really remember. Everything will be down in the link below. And then here we have a ribbon cable. This one's from TCGB Cal Calbury. I don't know how to say that name, but I got on Etsy. But when you start twisting these cables, this ribbon cable, it starts to delaminate here. Um, here is fine, here is bad, everything else is fine. My first one was even worse, he replaced it. He said that he had um, some issues with the, the, the heat shrink that he uses. But I got another one from CNA Prop Design, which is supposed to be a much, much better, robust um, way of making it. And uh, I'll do a review on those side by side. So I have that on order, I'm just waiting for that to come in. And got some of the movie fact, movie accurate wire loom there. Did my own wire uh, cable here with the protector. And then I've made a magnetic uh, holder there. I don't know if you can see the magnet inside there. Let's see. 
yeah, you can kind of see the magnet in there. And that just fits right on like so. Uh, more plastic connectors there with actual wires, uh, actual uh, hoses going through there. This actually locks into place, but I have it loose because I'm gonna take off this cover and show you what's inside. Uh, got some PG7 strain reliefs. Just got that off of uh, Amazon. Uh, it was fun installing these. You just kind of take this whole piece off here. Um, take it all apart and just kind of clamp it in between here. You just kind of make these holes a little bit bigger with a drill bit. Stick them in, clamp them in, and you're good to go. Here, uh, the trick to it is I just cut off the nuts on the bottom and I just like fit them on there. And to get these hoses to fit in, I just put in a screw through the hose and I just have it clamped right into there. So really no drilling or anything done to that. And that just fits on like that and it looks great. Um, yeah, so metal clamp here. Had to tap these in there and it holds really well because getting this thick, thick Ghostbusters 1 ribbon cable. I think you'll be fine with the GB2 cable, but it's too thick for the factory clamp and it'll break. Um, CNA Prop Design makes one that will accommodate this one when you buy uh, their ribbon cable from them. So that's a great alternative. You can see more factory cables here. And this one's another PG7 connector. Uh, I just kind of like shaved it down and I just hot glued and stuffed it in there. No drilling required. Um, using silicone hoses for here because I feel like they're easier to fit through these and it holds better and it's just more flexible for you to do uh, what you need to do and uh, it also helps like so so you can see that that is just the silicone hose there and it plugs nicely um, over your uh, resistor there and same thing for here like that, and you can get that nice curve and curl to it. All right. Uh, the colors are slightly off, but I feel like I like these a lot better. They are a little bit of a dust magnet versus uh, these PVC pipes, but uh, this was the best and easiest headache-free way that I could think of to do it uh, versus gluing and trying to get everything to work. Because when you try to use these PVC pipes over these um, resistors, uh, they flop around and they fall off, so it's, yeah, that was no good for me. All right, so we'll move to the back of the pack here. Uh, added a Mac Factory Danger logo there. Yeah, I have my LC1 uh, Alex Alice frame here. And then if you can see back here, oh, I have uh, my external speakers here, Velcroed on with my uh, 3.5 millimeter uh, jack connections there, which is nice because uh, I can just connect and disconnect them there and it's much, much cleaner than having wires just hanging out. Um, I'll shut down the pack. So I can leave that one on. And I will turn on these speakers for you so you guys can hear how loud this thing is. Uh, a lot of people use the JBL Go 2 speakers, but I am using the Soundstream Icon. They're identical speakers, it just doesn't have the ugly JBL logo right across the front face. All right, so let's turn that on. So both are turned on, one's for the wand and one is for the pack. Let me turn this on now. And you can hear how loud it is. That's not even the loudest. I'm turning it up now. Uh, right now the speakers are set on 50, so it can go way, way louder. And then here is the wand. And we can open up the wand. Then we can start it up. And you can hear how loud that is. Yeah, 
And with the Forever On mod, the pack stays on. Alright, so I'll turn that all off for now. Actually, I'll leave some of it on. And uh, yeah, that is the speakers. What else can I show you guys that I've done on here? Um, I think my second most favorite mod is my hose mod. I'm using a CN Linko. I don't know how to pronounce that. You can get these on Amazon. Make sure you get the LP20s. LP16s are too small. Those are readily, readily available. LP20s are a little harder to find. Uh, I got this little gas mask hose from AliExpress. I think it was like $2. A lot of people are doing the green ones. I like the black one, just, you know, just looks more clean, even though the green might match uh, the Alice Frames uh, olive green uh, straps, but I just wanted it black, All right? And I just uh, modified it and put it on there. So this is the, these connectors here. I'm using a four pin, so two are power for the wand and two are for the audio. And I have it all running internally into there. And this just, it's hard to do with one hand, but it has a very tight positive click and it is solid. Uh, also changed the hose. Got that from Charles Swift Dynamics on Etsy. It is super flexible. Um, yeah, you can just see that on this curve here on the top. It's just so good. And I also put another one of those uh, connectors on the top here. Um, but yeah, this beats the factory plastic molded rubber that they use. Like that one just stays straight, like a 45 out of your pack. Whereas this one, it just is so flexible. I'll show you a picture uh, with me holding it. And uh, I mean, me wearing the pack, the hose just drops straight down. So you don't have to worry about it jutting out and snagging on stuff when you're at conventions or just wearing it around for Halloween. And if it snags on something, it's probably going to pull the wand right off your pack and come smashing down onto the floor, which would really suck. Um, also put one of those connectors here on the wand. So really good. I have it flush mounted to there. Um, a lot of people had it sticking out, but I just shaved down the connector on this piece and I just stuffed it in there. Um, I was lucky and it just clipped right in. Um, if it doesn't for you. If you've shaved off too much, you can just put some hot glue and stick it in, but it is so good. And it just clicks right in there and it is solid. So now that we're at the wand, I'm going to show you some of the mods I've done to the wand besides that connector. I put the Harson um, grips on there. Got rid of that whole bunch of, you know, that mass, uh, I don't know, gob of whatever plastic Hasbro used. And I just wrapped it, sanded down, thing to get rid of, I guess, these uh, 3D printing lines. I was too lazy to do it on this. Uh, but I, sh I sanded it all down so it's smooth, and then I covered it with uh, hockey tape. Uh, got these actual clipper to hose barbs there, and then replaced it with this green hose to make it uh, more accurate. Uh, what else did I do here? Put the actual clippered valve there. And uh, put in the front grip here because I did not like the wood handle. So this is like uh, Ghostbusters 1 sort of grip. Uh, put a little bit of scotch tape here just to give it that, that movie accurate look. And uh, here I got from uh, BOK, uh, Ben of Kent. He's on Etsy, got his uh, gun ring holder here with actual uh, brass banjos there. So an actual PVC hose. And I think that looks really, really sharp. Got this acrylic tube from Sir Nick James on Etsy. Um, one thing I must mention about this is when I got this, it was much, a little bit longer, but it was cut so badly on, I don't know, angles on both ends. I had to run this over belt sander. I've lost a lot of material, but I was able to get the edges square and uh, I was able to epoxy it onto the tip of the wand. And what I did was I also kind of beveled the inside on that side so it would cut the tip of the wand better. And uh, yeah, that's all put in. 
So here, you do have to drill a little pilot hole in uh, the acrylic tube just for the screw to kind of go through and it just holds it nice and tight. Um, it's threaded here, so it'll pull these pieces together and sit tight. Um, but the screw does go into the, the tube about, I don't know, like three, four millimeters, which is good because you don't, when you fire it and your glue, if it fails, you don't want this metal piece to become a projectile and fire forward. And uh, yeah, what else can I show you guys? I'll turn this thing back on. And I'll turn down the volume. Also wanted to show you guys, because I put the metal clamp here, I've lost that ability to take off uh, the ribbon cable and to trigger that kind of like shutdown sequence. So I moved that switch to the door here, which is right here, and I still get that fade out uh, shutdown sequence. And if I press this button again, everything fires up as normal. So basically when this door is closed, it works as normal. All right. So now that I showed you my second most favorite mod on this pack, I want to show you my most favorite. And not because I also sell these on Etsy. I just think it's just the coolest thing ever. Um, oh, I have a metal bellow coming in. All metal. And it's going to look really cool. It's coming from Italy, from uh, Officine Props. Uh, on Etsy, and I'll have metal gun adjustment knobs here, and uh, metal metal adjustment knobs for there, if I can get my gimbal to cooperate. Yeah, I'll be changing these out to actual metal pieces. Uh, Max Factory also has them, but uh, they're sold out right now, and they're kind of pricey. So uh, I got them from Ben of Kent uh, on Etsy for about a third of the price. All right, so I'm gonna take this thing off and show you guys what is inside and in store. Let's make sure that my Forever On mod is on. It is on. Like that. So easy with just the magnet and then I didn't plug that in. But if I pull this thing off, there's a lid bypass built into the harness so it doesn't shut down the pack. So you are able to see everything that is going on in here. So that's really cool. And I think, you know, once you take the cover off and you have that going, it really looks like a working prop. And it's just really, really impressive. All right, I'm gonna shut it down and I'm gonna switch it to uh, uh, afterlife mode. And I've moved that switch, which is usually here or here and I've moved it into this uh, this uh, the, the, the dummy switch area here. Uh, you can't do it while the pack is on, but I'll show you, I can flip it back and forth. So I'll shut down the pack and flip it. And now we are in afterlife mode, which is really, really cool. And uh, this panel you can buy from Taco Belly on Etsy. And it comes with all the little uh, 3D printed clippets, clip lights. And uh, my kit also includes all the LEDs. Uh, three red, three green, two flashing oranges. It doesn't come with the panel, it's just LEDs and the harness to get this done here. And now they come with the lid bypass, so when you take off the lid, uh, everything stays on. And again, it even does the shutdown sequence when I open up the door. Yeah. So how that works is I have, with the plug and play harness, it taps into the LEDs that are also in this cover and the data that they receive. So it basically mimics the cover exactly on the inside because basically these lights in an actual working proton pack um, is what is showing through these lenses here on the cover. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. That's my most favorite mod. Um, oh, I also got this uh, cover from Taco Belly and this uh, acrylic uh, window, which I frosted. It's clear usually also on Etsy. All, everything will be on the link below. And I have like just the wires to power it through here and you can disconnect it. So if you want to take the cake off, 
You can. All right, so put that back on there. It is shut down because of uh, my ribbon cable clamp that I've opened. Close that back. Everything turns right back on. Yeah, I'm actually pretty excited about the metal bellow that I have coming in here. I'll shut that down. I'll turn off. Well, show it in. Hear how loud it is when it shuts off. And of course, it turns right back on because of the Forever On mod. And uh, yeah, I feel like I've just been talking and talking so much because there's just so much to go over on this pack. I'm pretty sure I've missed some stuff too. Um, but uh, when the other parts come in and I do it, I'll try to cover it. That is pretty much it. This is the pack in all its glory. I'm really, really happy. It was a lot of fun doing it. Um, would I do it again? Probably not. It's just so time consuming. I have a family <laughs> uh, that I have not been spending time with and uh, this has been kind of like my second child. And uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and then well, I guess we'll go with uh, the, the ghost trap. Uh, the only updates I've really done is I put actual uh, screen accurate uh, knobs on here. Uh, put an actual resistor, metal resistor here, and another screen accurate knob there. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Everything looks great. Super, super happy with my Proton Pack. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think, uh, what mods you are planning on to do, if I've inspired you to do anything on here. And if you guys have any questions um, on how to do this stuff, I am happy to help. Uh, you can just uh, comment below or you can find me on my Etsy store, Sticky Graphics Canada. Uh, you can find uh, my Cyclotron cake LED kit there and my um, wire loom and uh, nylon braided protector on there as well. You can just message me, just ask me how I've done stuff. And uh, I am more than happy to help because uh, yeah, it's a great Ghostbusters community that we're a part of. And uh, yeah, and that's what makes it so great. All right, so happy busting, happy modding. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.